What's going on, buddy? Sully Ecker here. And um, I was watching Tactical Toolbox, and there he put out a video, and um, it's a little long. It's about an hour and 20 minutes or so, but it's a, I would, wa I would watch it again. I mean, it, there, there was some intense stuff, um, explanations on the Second Amendment. Uh, there, was, there was so much information in there that um, it's something that I will uh, definitely say go and watch. But um, those links will be in the description. But that being said, I did grab one clip out of this, and um, this is going to be involving Eula, uh, Eulade, Uvalde, Uvalde, that's it. And this next, this clip that I grabbed comes out of Uvalde. So without further ado, I'm not going to ruin it, but pay attention to everything in this video. The Texas Rangers joined in the investigation and found that two students had looked up the tactics used in Columbine. Investigators say they were going to start the attack by detonating IEDs, then kill as many students possible. Police say that the students used their school issue iPads to talk about the attacks. The two were arrested on conspiracy to commit murder. They are currently in a juvenile justice center. Also, the school district did notify parents by sending out a letter. Reporting from Uvalde, Henry Ramos, KINS 5, Eyewitness News. So as I mentioned, that news clip was from 2018. The two boys, uh, they didn't talk about their names because they were minors at the time, and they were only 13 and 14 years old. There's two things that weren't even mentioned that were actually mentioned on the actual news website in a text format. They didn't put it in a video, but check this out. Now, this is all from 2018. Valdi CISD issued a statement on Thursday. Our school district is committed to the safety and education of all of our students, and we want to clearly communicate about safety issues when they arise. One of our Morales Junior High students was experiencing crisis. Upon rendering aid and support, the student revealed a plan to conduct a school shooting in the year of 2022. With the type of detailed information that was revealed by the student law enforcement and confirmed in their investigation, the student has been arrested and will not be returning to our school. Our school district has a strong partnership with a local law enforcement agencies, yada, yada, yada. So here's a few things that stick out to me about this. There was two middle schoolers. One was age 13, one was age 14 in 2018. They were arrested because they were planning to use IEDs on the anniversary of Columbine. But then they were later again arrested because they had a detailed plan to conduct a shooting in the year 2022. Now this year, in 2022, exactly four years later, the student who committed the atrocity was 18 years old. How old would he have been in 2018? Now, I'm not saying that he is the same person as these two, but what I am suggesting is he's probably friends with them and he just wasn't caught. And like I said, this is crazy. Um, YouTube, this is all news. This is all newsworthy. This was all, most of it's all just from the news. So don't hit me with nothing. And uh, There's no bad anything. It's just covering, you know, some of this stuff. So don't, don't hit me. Anyway, um, Give a huge shout out to Tactical Toolbox. There is more to this video than what I just put out that doesn't just talk about that place and it doesn't just talk about, it talks about a lot from the Second Amendment and everything. So definitely head over to that channel. Like I said, links will be in the description and um, just let them know that the Armed Fisherman sent you. So I'm out of here. Deuces.